All right, so the question today is we got this 1835 in the back, um, and we're going to see if it's something we could tear down and build another motor with. Um, because uh, everybody seemed to like the last motor build, and the next motor build we're going to do is going to be so you guys back east where you can't get machine work done, uh, like if you need to open up your case to put larger cylinders in or something like that. We're going to show how to do how that we do a drop in stroker. So either you can use your existing rods and put a stroker 74 in. Or a or buy the clearance rods already and do a 74 but we need to first of all make this thing here run and see if it's running I think this engine should run fine but we're just gonna fire it up real quick without since you know it's been sitting for a long time it's been sitting for since probably I'm trying to think it's probably been sitting since around 92 so pretty long time uh, and it the oil looked okay that was in it. Uh, we don't really want to dump the oil out, um, so we're just going to run what's in there. And again, we're going to take, take it all apart anyway. So if it does have an issue, we'll shut it off and we'll be taking it apart. Um, but uh, we just want to fire, fire it up real quick and let you guys hear it. And then uh, we did take the carb off. This is the carb that was on the 2007. And we went ahead and went through the carb already. So we know that's okay, but we don't think the jets are right for this engine. I think they're pretty far off, so it may not run great. You know, it might just kind of barely run. Who knows? Maybe it'll run good. Um, but uh, we're gonna. This is just a before we tear it down. We wanted to start it up and see. So, would you guys come along and check it out with us and uh, see what happens? Check it out. So one of the things I wanted to say is, um, well, this is the engine that I got. A long time ago, I actually tore it apart way before I was really working much on VWs. And I put it together and put it in my car. And this is the one I drove that I actually tore it apart again. I redid some stuff to the heads. And, uh, but I was, it was before I was experimenting. We were experimenting with cool tin and stuff like that. So it really ran hot. And it wasn't, I don't think it was ever jetted right. Um, I was pretty young when I built this thing. I was like maybe 18 years old. So, um, and then it got put, taken out of cars. I had it in my bug, took it out, uh, put it in my van for a minute. And then just because it, it was too big for the van with the stock gears that were in it. So, uh, it was just, it was just a waste of horsepower, you know, for that. And so it's not really fast or anything. It's okay, but it, it, it was capable of doing 105 miles an hour. So, uh, at least that's what the speedometer said, um, whether it was right or not, I didn't have a way to test it back then. So uh, we believe it still has spark. It has old German uh, points. And we did find one of the Myers that was missing on it. I probably took it off at some point. So you can see we got this nice custom wire on there. Um, and all the rest of them are what was on the engine when we took it out. So anyway, we'll give this thing a whirl. Let's see what happens. We all set to go. All right, let's give it a push and see what happens. See if it starts right up, that'd be amazing. No choke. Yes, I think we did. 
this one ran. I, it's got more than head, so. Oh yeah, we got Mike. What a gas. Oh, we tried. Yeah, I think a couple of dead mice came out of here. We did have some mice in here. Um, they, they knocked them right out of the cylinders. I don't know. I think that, that high rev uh, mm -hmm. took them out. Yeah, this thing's this was a screamer. I know this motor really the cam that's in it, everything is just really, really well really well engineered, put together. I remember it was but you know, I, I wasn't very good at putting motors together back then. Uh, so anyway, but uh yeah, I of course I couldn't get the flywheel, it always leaked. It always had a leak in it. But um I think it's probably got a groove in the flywheel. So it's all that, that flywheel is going to go anyway because we're going to put a light in one on here, an eight dowel. So we're going to go with a 74 eight dowel, and then maybe we'll put this in the red bus just for fun. Uh, we thought we'd do this because everybody seems to like these motor builds, and it helps you guys learn a little bit about how to do it. So um, it'll help you out. Um, anyway, that wasn't hard. That was way <laughs> it started right up. I mean, we didn't do anything to it really. It just Hooked up the wire, put some gas in it, and of course it fires right up. It was a pretty good motor back in the day, but it, it did leak a lot of oil, uh, a lot of issues back then, and that was one of the reasons I, I just, you know, it, plus it was a big 1835, you know, for a thin wall cylinder, 1835, so it ran really hot, and it hit a bus that just wasn't working, and I had already sold my bug. I took the motor out of the bug, and I put a 40 horse in it, and uh, we have a visitor. Yeah, a lizard. A, was it a lizard? lizard? Where is he? There you go. There, you oh, there he is. Visitor. Lizard. Ah, there he goes. There he goes. Ah, ah. Anyway. All right. So I guess we can tear it down. It doesn't sound like it's not locking. So probably got good parts inside. Um, and it did, like I said, it did run before. But the funny thing is we don't have any oil pressure gauge on it because it doesn't have, it's a type, type 3 motor, type 3 case. Forgot that. It's been a long time. I never did have oil chip, oil pressure gauge on this, I don't think. Well, it will have one when we're done, somehow. Anyway, that's it for the little Will It Run. Uh, it does run, and we're going to tear this down. We're going to show you guys a teardown video, and we'll get into that pretty soon here. Talk to you in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.